大家好，我是司徒建国，我在贵州 B J City Nayong County， and this is Sinchun Sun Sinchun Village. Now, Guizhou has lifted millions of people out of poverty over the last few years. Millions, and this village, Sinchun Village, has also been lifted out of poverty, hidden deep here in the mountains. So, I've come here today to see a basketball court. Yeah. Uh, but not not just any basketball court. This is the kind of basketball court that you can't find anywhere else in the world. Right, so let's go. It's raining a bit today. Uh, that's okay though. Well. <laughs> Guizhou is a beautiful province with lots of untapped resources. Hello. <laughs> Lots of untapped resources. There are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of karst mountains and karst caves all over the province. The province is around about 90% mountainous. In fact, last year when I came to Guizhou, I actually got stuck in a cave. That won't be happening this time. Uh, but but I am looking for a cave. I am looking for a cave. Not just any cave. This cave. Yes, this is a basketball court inside a cave. Inside a mountain, it's incredible. I'm pretty sure it's the only cave converted into a basketball court in the entire world. LeBron doesn't have one, does he? No. Exactly right. So let's go down and check it out. Wow! Look at this. So why is there a basketball court inside a cave? Or quite simply, the villagers of Sintrunsman, they like basketball. Back in the 60s, they started their first basketball team. They actually traded two cows and a pig for their first set of basketball hoops. But that's not the whole story, right? So most of the space in the village is actually used for residents. There wasn't an area for them for recreation or to play basketball. So one of the elder villagers, called Zhang Kaishu, he suggested that they convert this cave into a basketball court. Wow. Now work, began back in 2016 to convert this cave into a basketball court. The villagers themselves raised around about 88,000 yuan towards the cost of this project. The village collective contributed 45,000 yuan and then the BDA Poverty Relief Office added another 100,000 yuan to build this court. All right, now the temperature inside the cave is always 18 degrees C. Summer, winter, always 18 degrees C. So it's always comfortable to play sport here. Uh, and, and apparently, this place can seat a thousand spectators. A bit less than a thousand today, but a thousand spectators, that's, that's a lot. But obviously, this place wasn't built to attract large crowds. It was built to provide the villagers here in Sintrans for a place to exercise and shoot hoops. Right. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Come on. Come on. Right. Come on. <laughs> oh no. There you go. 